Hello everyone, I figured I'd put together this quick video to show what the people, my viewers, might say in the comments of how not to make aluminum angle ingots. However, when I'm finished, I actually have some. I'm feeling a little sick today and you may notice it in my voice. I want to remind everybody to not try these things at home. That is, unless you have a note from your mom. So what I'm doing here is cutting a steel angle and uh, I'm going to form an ingot tray to pour uh, whatever I'm melting into. So I'm going to use some flat stock to hold the edges and the aluminum to form the ingots. And this is kind of what it will look like. So I recorded uh, an entire welding segment to kind of show you uh, how this was welded together. But uh, if you could just kind of do that in your own mind uh, and then you'll see the final result here in just a little bit. So I had a little problem with the welding segment. Uh, maybe some of you experienced welders already know what it is. I'm using end cuts for an 8020T slot aluminum. Aluminum? My buddy Steve gets me these from where he works. Of course, the 8020 won't fit in the crucible, so that's why I'm cutting them in half. So now we're getting the heating thing out um, and uh, it takes a while and as you can see the aluminum still doesn't fit in there very well. So I speeded up the action on this so you can see it heating up but it probably took about 30 minutes to get all the way up to temperature. And then here in a minute I'll show you as you put a piece of aluminum in you can see the temperature drop about 100 degrees and come back up. I also filmed a section where I kind of showing you in the crucible what the molten aluminum looks like but it was shaky and out of focus and it would have been right here and here's a nice shot of the back of my hand you guys remember these from my earlier videos so the next series of videos is uh, played back at 32 times speed uh, you can see me put aluminum in you'll watch the temperature drop and then it'll heat up anyway it goes back and forth and here we have some more blurry shaky showing you in the crucible molten aluminum Here's a quick tip for you guys. If you want to get a bunch of nasty comments from your uh, viewers, make sure that you do all of these activities with no gloves on. But I also want to throw in that disclaimer that no animals were harmed during the filming or production of this video. And two minutes and 38 seconds in, we're going to be pouring liquid metal into the ingot tray. Look, Ma, no gloves. Some of the viewers may be wondering, what exactly would I do with an aluminum ingot? Well, I'm going to let my viewers answer that question below in the discussion area. Anyway, in case you're wondering, don't touch any of this. Don't touch the aluminum metal. Don't touch the ingot holder. Don't touch the anything. Uh, otherwise, you'll get hurdy burny fingers. So we're going to do this a few more times at high speed and then close out the video. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my video that I put together. Um, I'm watching my numbers. I'm almost to 10,000 subscribers. Uh, if you find this style of it, uh, filming interesting, um, the how-to stuff, I would really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Give me some thumbs up. Give me that 10,000 mark. Thanks, guys.